And you're here with Diva and Dawn on Stoville Morning on CIWS Whistle FM 102.9. And we have our other guests, our after our 8 a.m. news guests. So we have Kathy Edwards here from the Unionville Theatre Company. Yay! Yay! So how long have you been with the Unionville Theatre Company? I have been with them for 14 years. Wow. It's a not-for-profit, and it's strictly organized by volunteers. Wow, that's really amazing. It is, and we're going into our 38th year of producing Broadway-style musicals, and this year we're doing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. It's going to be a wonderful show, and it's a lot of fun. It really is. A lot of work, but so well worth it. And, it uh, certainly is. And some opportunities for talents to shine. Absolutely. And today we have two young gentlemen here that are both our Jeremy's for our production this year. We have Julian Bradis and we have Matthew MacArthur. And they're both going to sing for us today. Well, that is fabulous. Are they singing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang songs? No. We we keep that for the show. Ah, you don't know. No. So this is just a sneak preview. This is a sneak what, preview of their voices. Of their talent. That's wow. correct. Wow. Well, I think uh, we should hear one. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. I think it's going to be Julian that's up, and he's going to be singing next. Uh, what are you going to sing, Julian? I'm going to sing The Perfect Nanny. Ah. Okay. okay we're going to improvise with the backing tracks here to, to support the uh, Well, support if you want to come singing. close here, uh, yeah, Dad. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, gather around the microphone. You may have to actually hold it up a little higher as as we go. Just uh, we'll just balance things play. out. Press press play and let's see. This is this is an adventure. If you want this choice position, have a jury disposition. Rosy cheeks, no warts. Play games, all sorts. You must be kind. You must. Be Fairly sweet and fairly pretty Take us on outings, give us treats Sing songs, bring sweets Never be cross or cruel Never feed us custard oil or gruel Love us as a son and daughter And never smell of holy water If you won't scold and dominate us We will never give you cause you hate us We won't hide your spectacles so you Alright, that's All right. great. Oh, Yay. Okay. Woo. Woo. okay, how did you do that without having a lyric sheet in front of you? Okay. He did a shrug. For the radio <laughs> listeners, he did a shrug. You did that from memory. Yeah. That's amazing. I can't do that from memory. I have to have Mm-mm. stuff to read. I can make sure I'm on track and everything. Excellent. I have two songs. You have two songs. You have two songs. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. we'll, well, we will hear. We actually have a little bit of time, so we're just going to talk a little bit more. Then I think we'll hear from Matthew, and then we'll hear another one yeah. from Julian. Okay. How's let's, that sound? Sure. So, how, how is that? How do you find people for your productions? Well, we have a, a casting call, and we ask people to come out for. Um, uh, they come to Unionville um, um, Arena, a Crosby Arena, right? And we have an audition day, and we. And people come out and hear all about the show that we're going to produce, and then they do sign up sheets and come out for auditions. And usually pick uh, their character who they want to sing, or how does that work? Well, when we do the audition, when they come in for the audition, it's usually up to um, the choreographer and the um, vocal coach and and the some of the board members to you know choose which they feel would be the be- in the best position for that role. And then, um, then we have a script read, and we go from there. Well, so is it people of all, uh, all ages? ages? All ages, and this year I think we're going to be doing s- some seniors. We're going to have some seniors in the cast as well. But we do we rehearse on Tuesday night, Thursday night, and Sundays. So, so it's, it's a big commitment. commitment. It really, it certainly is a commitment. So we break for Christmas, and then we're in the theater at the end of February. So wow, yeah. Must be something that's quite a nice theater 
Oh, it's Mark and Plato, Plato Theater that we perform in. Yeah, that's yes. where all the productions are? All the, main, all the main productions in Mark and Mark done there, yes. So this, yes. Is, this is the real deal theater, then, if you're in the Plato Theater. Oh, absolutely. And we have been there ever since, you know, when it was built. So, um, yes, and this year, our uh, dates for our show are... Um, we have a Thursday evening at 7.30, a Friday evening at 7.30, a Saturday matinee at 1, Saturday evening show at 7.30, and a Sunday at 1 o'clock. And how much are the tickets? Okay, the tickets are $30 for adults and 25 for seniors, students, and groups. Awesome. Like plus, yes. And um, the tickets go on sale December the 5th. Oh, that would be that would oh make my. a nice stocking stuffer. A great stocking stuffer, and also a great Valentine's gift. Ah, you got you got both seasons covered. We have both seasons covered. And what's covered. the actual date? I, I know okay, you gave sorry. Us um, stories. Um, it's the dates I just gave you are from Thursday, February twenty third to Sunday, February twenty sixth. We also have three matinees for school children and seniors and large groups and there are from Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and they can be arranged um, through our box office and not through the, the, the theater box office. And so we're, how do we get a hold of your box office? Okay, to get a hold of ours it's 416-765 and it's 1135. It's on a voicemail so we'll contact you and we'll get back to you or you can contact us through Unionville Theater at live.ca and let us know how many tickets you would like for the matinee performances Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the show week. Awesome. I think we need to hear from a another singer. I think so. I, I think we need to hear from Matthew. And what are you going to sing for, the, for us, gonna, Matthew? Sorry, I'm going to sing I Just Can't Wait to Be King from Disney's Lion King. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Do you roar in that one? Mm, not really, no. Okay. Okay. Well, without further ado, let's hear from Matthew. Oh, wait, sorry. Technology. Isn't it amazing? Here we go. Gonna be a mighty king, so enemies beware. I'm gonna be the main event, like no king was before. I'm brushing up on looking down, I'm walking on my roar. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. No one's saying do this No one's saying be there No one's saying stop that No one's saying see here Free to run around all day Free to do it all my way Kings don't need advice from a little home bills for a start. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Everybody look left Everybody look right Everywhere you look I'm Standing in the spotlight Let every creature go for broke and sing Let's hear it on the hood and on all wing Oh I just can't wait to be king Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Woo! Thank you. Well done.
done. Nice job. We're here at uh, Whistle FM, CIWS 102.9 in Stovall, Ontario, Canada, and we've got the folks in from Unionville Theatre Company today. Yes, very glad to have you all. Thank you. So, you two are both playing Jeremy. Yep, does that yep. mean you play on, take turns during different shows, yes. or how does that yeah. work? Yeah. Uh-huh. Or somebody gets sick, or... Yeah. Yes. So what what bang. character is Jeremy? I mean, I haven't seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang probably since I was like your age, which is He's like a boy that's the son of an inventor. Yeah. Ah. Like, yeah, is that the like the flying car? Does he make yes. car flyers? Well, the, his dad the, does. His dad does. Yeah. Wow. So have you guys been in other productions? I've been I've been in The Little Mermaid last year. Yeah, but you weren't The Little Mermaid. No. <laughs> and um and I was in the school play last year Lion King, but I was too young to audition, so I was just an ensemble background dancer. Ah. So you dance too? Do both of you dance? Yeah. yeah. I'm a- wow. I, do. I look forward to seeing that and hearing you guys. Yeah. And so they have a sister in the play as well. What's wow. Is she singing and dancing too? Yes, yeah. Yes. Wow. So do you guys like being in show business? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it exciting? Yes. yes. Yeah. Really much. Really. Exciting. Wow. It's addictive. What made you get involved in the first place? What happened that made you decide you wanted to do this? Like, my mom introduced it to me, and I'm like, okay, I like to sing and dance. So combine that, and yeah, poof. Poof. And, and um, my friend from dance, Kylie, she was in The Little Mermaid last year, and I saw it, and I really liked it. So I wanted to audition, and plus I like entertaining people, and in theater I like entertaining people. So I guess I'm kind of a modern day court jester. A modern wow. day court jester. Do you have a costume too to go with oh, that? Wow. No. Court jester. No. Okay. no. Next year. Yeah. So how many how many crew are involved in this production? Well, there's approximately 35 in the cast, and that keeps on increasing as we go along. And then um, there's our board, and then we have parents that help out doing set and helping backstage during the production. So it's everything is volunteer. Right. Yes. And it must be really cool to see the growth of people from, you know, like the, the very start to, you know, by, by the last day, it's almost like lunch bag letdown because it's like it's it so is. well rehearsed. It's like, wow, I, I want to keep doing this, but it's it's over now. It's true, and it becomes a big family. Everyone gets to know each other really well, and they it's amazing. It really is. We see the growth of, especially the children, um, they, they're they amazing. They really are. We just love working with the kids. Really and, and who does all the costumes? That must be a big undertaking. It is a big undertaking, and um, we have sewers that are going to be doing um, a lot of the costumes. We have a, a girl, Christina, who is a co-op student from Markham District High School, and she's helping to do the drawings, and she's taking the measurements right now. And um, our director also is doing drawings for, you know, certain clothes that she'd like to see on stage as well. So it's all coming together. It's oh, all coming it, it's together. a lot of work, but it's so a lot well, of work. So well worth it. It's so rewarding at the end. It really is. Well, I know that Dawn and I went to the Little Mermaid, and we were just blown away by the the talent and the sets and the uh, costumes. It was amazing. It's very professional, isn't it? It's it really it's is. Like people, do, you know, like I think I think it's for underrated. Com- you know, like people absolutely. don't realize for community theater. I think that um, we're probably one of them. The best in Ontario. That's my opinion. Maybe even Canada. Maybe. You never know. Right. Maybe the world. No. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Speaking of the world, we should uh, let folks at home listen to the uh, 8.30 news. Oh, yeah, because it's a little past 8.30. Yeah, it's, it's 8 degrees. We were so excited. It's 8 degrees outside oh, yeah. the uh, Whistle FM studios on its way to 12 today. It's supposed to clear up a little bit, see a bit of sunshine. And let's have uh, Mr. Pritchard from our news department give us the news. Downtown Scoville, this is 1029 Whistle FM News. I'm Bob Pritchard. We'll have mainly cloudy skies today with a chance of showers. Our afternoon highs up to about 12 degrees.
Richmond Hill MP Jad Jawari has publicly apologized for calling himself a professional engineer while campaigning during the recent federal election. The Liberal MP came under fire from some in the local riding in the weeks leading up to the 2015 election for his use of the engineering titles when he was not licensed in Ontario, something that's forbidden under the Professional Engineers Act. Jahari agreed to provide a public letter of apology and a donation to the Ontario Professional Engineers Foundation for Education. As a result, the charges were withdrawn. Reports say that GTA radio personality Mike Bullard has been charged with criminal harassment. The reports say the allegations against Bullard involve a television reporter at City TV that he once dated. Ballard has been charged with criminal harassment, obstruction of justice, and breaching conditions to stay away from the woman who the published reports say is City TV reporter Cynthia Mulligan. Bullard is quoted as saying that the charges stem from a bad breakup and it's a very personal thing. A 62-year-old Markham man has been charged with sexual assault after two women allegedly were inappropriately touched while on York Region buses. Vishnu Rosh, 62, has been charged with three sexual assaults. The victims were allegedly inappropriately touched while asleep on local buses. Police believe there may be other victims who have not yet come forward. The Royal Bank is hiking up mortgage rates and making it more expensive for homebuyers who want to take more than 25 years to pay back their loan. The bank is raising its special offer for a five-year fixed rate mortgage to 2.94%. That's an increase of 30 basis points. RBC is also raising its special offer for a four-year fixed rate mortgage to 2.79% and three-year fixed mortgages to 2.69%, increases of 30 and 25 basis points respectively. The bank also is introducing new rates for home buyers who opt for amortization periods longer than 25 years. We'll see mainly cloudy skies today with a chance of showers. Our afternoon high is getting up to about 12 degrees. Reporting from downtown Stouffville for 1029 Whistle FM News. I'm Bob Pritchard. Stouffville Toyota continues to provide excellence in automotive sales of both new and used vehicles plus full service to the Whitchurch Stouffville community. Call them today because extra special savings start at Stouffville Toyota. That's Stouffville Toyota on the corner of Millard and Highway 48 in Whitchurch, Stouffville. Stouffville is a community steeped in history, which makes our blend of Canadian music, nostalgic favorites, and new music the perfect soundtrack for your life. We are 102.9 FM, Whistle Radio. Hi, everybody. We are back here on CIWS 102.9 with Diva Dawn. And uh, the cast and crew, or some of them from uh, Unionville Theatre <laughs> Company, we're back with uh, Kathy here. And uh, we're going to have uh, Julian sing another song for us. What are you going to sing for us now? I'm going to sing Where's Love from Oliver. Oh, what a great... You, you guys pick great songs. Okay, let's hear it for Julian. <laughs> Oh 
Very nice. Nice yeah. job. Nice. Question for the ages. Where is love? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> At such a tender age. How it's old are you, It's actually about, like, the song's actually about a boy who's like an orphan and he's treated very badly, so he mm. wants to find someone who actually be nice to him. Oh. Not like he's the one. What's a girlfriend? Oh, oh, it's a different kind of love. Okay. Yes. Like family love. Well, that's, that's a good yeah. explanation. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Thank you. Yeah, so I guess when you're doing characters, it's about interpreting what's happening in the show and the story. Yep. It's like putting yourself in that person's shoes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we've got a story about the roads, the uh, Highway 404 Don Valley Parkway mm-hmm. combo. I know we're just a little segue jumping in here, <coughs> but uh, folks that listen to us are often uh, in their vehicles. Uh, the Highway 404 Don Valley Parkway combo is slowed up even more than it has earlier. And uh, so the uh, Major Mackenzie Boulevard interchange as well as the 401 interchange are very, very busy. So please be patient with your, your trip. There's still some showers in the area. It's supposed to clear up later on, going to a high of 12. But there's still some showers in the area that are causing the traffic to move rather slowly. So all we can say is be patient. Get to where you're going. Be safe and uh, come back with us. Now, we could talk about famous birthdays on this day. We could, <coughs> absolutely. And and then we'll hear from another young singer. I think so. You want me to do the first one? From sure. So, since it's so far in the archives? Yeah. It's 1873. A gentleman by the name of W.C. Handy. He's known as the father of blues music. And he wrote uh, the Memphis Blues and St. Louis Blues. And the annual Blues Awards are called the Handys. The W.C. Handy Awards. Who knew? Mm-hmm. Back in 1907, which is way back, actor Burgess Meredith played the Penguin in Batman and was Rocky with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. 1964, Canadian jazz and <coughs> pianist Diana Krall. It's her birthday today. Wow. In 1969, Canadian rock icon Brian Adams. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <coughs> Canada has some great talent. And speaking of great talent... We're going to hear from Matthew. And what are you going to sing for us, Matthew? So, I don't have the music, so I'm going to sing an acapella. Ah, we're going to acapulco, right. Hey. And I'm <laughs> singing show business. Nice. Okay, stand back. Here we go. There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything that traffic will allow. Where else could you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow? There's no people like show people. They smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. That night you open and there you are. Next day on your dressing room you've hung a star. Let's go on with the show. All right. Oh. Oh, is there more? Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Oh dear. Go for it. The costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience that lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The share, uh, the clothing when the customers don't come. Yeah. He was dancing in his chair. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Wow. Right. Well, folks at home, try singing, uh, as they call, a cappella with no accompaniment and staying on key the way Matthew did. That's wonderful. Well done. Thank Way you. to go. Very good. So, how old are you, young gentlemen? I am ten. Me too. Ah, oh, okay. ten. So, like, are you twins? No. No? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, is he, like, your real brother or just brother in, in, in show business? Just show business. Show business brothers? Well, well, yeah. No. Okay. No, we're not necessarily brothers because we're we're in different camps. Brothers from like another mother. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, I'm just messing with you. That's, that's my job. Sometimes Don likes to tease. <laughs> right on. But good friends. Very yeah. good friends. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You have a theater family. Yes. That is so cool. You m- meet some do. cool people and probably yeah. stay friends for years and do shows together. Maybe. Maybe not. So sometimes do you have to stay out of school to do your rehearsing or to, to do practicing or no only no? for the shows mm-hmm. and right now yes okay which I love 
which I love. <laughs> so, so you don't mind being out of school? Well, not really. Not it's, really. Okay. It depends on the occasion. Yes. Cause like, ah, like, I am a reason. fan of school, but like, if, if it's something like do this, then I wouldn't. But if it's something fun, then I would. So do you find it hard to sing and dance at the same time? No. 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 I just you, you don't lose your breath or no, no, no. Oh, okay, not really. So do Maybe. they get training or yes, they shoes, do. like vocal training, choreography? Absolutely. Um, we have a fabulous vocal director. Um, her name is Amelia Hong Kim, and she is absolutely fabulous. We have a cr- choreographer Val or Orvachov, and he's been with us um, several t- several years and different aspects. He did he did direct for us, but he's an amazing choreographer. We have Doug Manning, who's with our, he's our music director. He's with Markham Concert Band. And Clemmy Fraser Mangelardi is our director for the show this year. And of course, Rob Klein. Everybody knows Rob, and he's our stage manager. And these are the most talented people I've ever had a chance to work with. Well, so you have uh, an orchestra under you when you sing? Absolutely, a full orchestra. It's under the ground. Yeah. It's ah, under the ground. Right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, people started staring into it when it was the interval last okay. year. Really? Yeah. Just don't fall into the pit. Mm. Like, is it really right. dark down there? No, it's bright. Yeah, there's it's, there's they have a, lights? It's kind of like a room. Yeah. It's oh, it's like, like a, a room under the ground. It's just a tiny little room. Is it like a basement? Yes, I Pretty think. Much. And then there's a hole in the stage. Oh my gosh. You don't fall in it, do you? No. No? <laughs> do they have a railing around it? or No. No? There's just an open hole. Because then people wouldn't see us. Like if there's, if there's a, a railing. railing. Well, if you fell in the hole, nobody would see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! We don't go too far onto stage. Oh okay, but the sound still comes out from the pit. Yeah, yeah that's why oh. there's a hole. Yeah. Oh, because so oh, they, they let they the music yeah, out. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a big guitar with a hole in the middle and the sound comes out. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty oh, tight down there, though, isn't it? Oh, it's set really stuff. close. And yeah. It's pretty tight. Okay. It's almost claustrophobic, isn't it? Just don't stay near the bass player, because that's a long fretboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So what's coming up? Uh, let's see. The stay in music history. That sounds like something we could talk about. We're ta- we like talking because we yeah. like talking about we music. Sure mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Very much. Okay. A lot. I think. Okay, Don. <laughs> you can do the first one. Okay. Back in 1963, a duo called by the name of Nino Tempo and April Stevens had a number one hit with a song called Deep Purple. In 1968, the Jimi Hendrix Experience went number one with the album Electric Ladyland. Songs included. Voodoo Child, All Along the Watchtower, and Cross Town Traffic. Yeah. That guy could play guitar oh. like nobody's business. As as uh, popular as he was, he, he didn't like his own voice. He didn't like the sound of his own voice. Un- unbelievable. Well, I'm glad these guys like the sound Absolutely. of their voices so we could hear yeah. them. In uh, 1971, uh, mm-hmm. singer John Lennon, former Beatle, had a number one hit with Whatever Gets You Through the Night. And Elton John yeah, played on the session. Awesome. 20, uh, 2002, Texas multi-billionaire David Bonderman hired the Rolling Stones to play at his 60th birthday party held at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas. They live near Elton John. You, you do? do? Yeah. You do? You do? You do? I do. You do. Oh, does you he do. play for you? No. Oh. No, okay. That's sad. Okay, Don, I think. Okay. C- uh, coming up to 2014. 2014, yeah. U2 singer Bono was involved in what doctors called a high-energy bicycle accident. The singer was rushed to uh, New York Presbyterian, uh, uh, was it Wheel Cornell Medical Center for an emergency department and underwent five hours of surgery. The injury uh, forced the group to postpone a planned week-long residency on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. I remember that happening. I remember that. No, that's terrible if you're a guitar player and you wreck your hand. Oh, gosh. It was, uh, it wasn't good. You guys just played musical chairs again. Does this mean somebody's singing or something? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. oh okay. no more songs? Oh. Uh, I guess we just have to come to the show to hear you. Is that it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay. We want to swear Probably. Too. Would you like to listen to a, re- a recorded piece of music? Sure. sure. Okay, we've got a local artist by the name of Marion Drexler, and uh, her song is called Love Will Get Your Heart. Here we go. Like you bet in the sky 
our program to bring you a special broadcast. You asked, we listen. It's Rise and Shine, Stouffville. Good morning. This is your wake-up call. Weekday morning starting at 5. We kickstart your mornings with great music, Hey Jude. local news, local traffic. Oh, did we mention great music? It's Rise and Shine, Stouffville. Weekday morning starting at 5. And that's the way it is. Yes. Where you go. And we're here with uh, David John and the... Uh, Unionville Theatre Company, and we're just going to just do a recap on what's coming up and the dates and all that good stuff. Yes, please get your tickets. Tickets go on sale December the 5th um, at Flato Markham Theatre. You can reach their box office at 905-305-7469. And the dates of the show are Thursday, February 23rd, 730, Friday the 24th at 730, Saturday the 25th at 1 p.m. matinee, 7.30 p.m. show, and Sunday the 26th, which is our final matinee, and that's at 1 p.m. So please give a call to Markham Flato Theatre, 905-305-7469. And if you're a large group and would like to attend one of our matinees, which begins on the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the show week, um, which would be the 22nd through to the 24th, um, you can do that by um, getting in touch with Unionville Theatre at live.ca or 416-765-1135, which is a voicemail, and we'll get back to you. I think they'd make a great stocking stuffer. Great stocking stuffer. And or if there's any tickets left, Valentine's. Absolutely. Take your honey or honeys. Absolutely. So we look forward to everyone coming to the show for to see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in February. It well, sounds absolutely magical. Yeah. Anyway. Right. <laughs> you said the clapping. I just joined it. Well, thank you guys for coming and singing for us and uh, giving up some school time to come and be here. That's pretty special. Thank you for bringing us. Yeah. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Thank you for Big round of thank you and. Yes. Uh, We'll probably hear from you guys back at, at, in January. Yes, we certainly some will be here. more singers. And we appreciate that. Talk about how things are going and look forward to that. Maybe those singers will have to come out of school, too. 
Maybe. Probably. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. That's right. Yes. Thank you on behalf of Unionville Theatre Company. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I think we need some more music to play us on it, Don. We do. We've got the Goo Goo Dolls and a tune called Slide. <laughs> Nothing but a fall. 